Hi everyone. I know it's been a minute, but things in life have just been really crazy lately. Um, so I have these 10 books real quick that I wanted to go through with you. Um, this one real quick is called The Illustrated Flora of Britain and Northern Europe. Um, it has 544 pages. Uh, it, the pages are double-sided. Um, you have info on one side and pictures on another. It's just a regular book cover. And then they have, what's nice though is on the written side, you do have some flowers here and you can, you know, fussy cut these. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Um, I bought this off of worldofbooks.com. It was the UK site. Like, just look how pretty. It's so pretty. Um, and the fact that there's 544 pages is, uh, is a lot. Um, this book, This Way, is 10 by 9 sixteenths of an inch. Um, the length, or however you want to go this way, is 7 and 3 sixteenths of an inch, and then the width itself is 1 and 9 sixteenths of an inch. So, yeah. So, I mean, there's tons of fussy cutting. This book would last you a long, woo, would last you a long time for fussy cutting. Moving on to the next. Um, I have two copies of these. I want to show you just, okay. One says the Oxford Book of Garden Flowers. The other one says the Illustrated Book of Garden Flowers. Um, this one is a little bit, I think, newer. Um, these pages are more glossy as if you look at these these are more matte like let's see that's page 30 so I mean a side-by-side -side comparison you can see that the pages are different you know this is more matte it's less like more flat it's not very shiny um, and I honestly because I wasn't really paying attention to the covers. I thought they were different. They, they say one says Oxford and the other one says illustrated. So I just thought they were different. Uh, um, but anywho, um, this book has 207 pages. It is not double sided. So, you know, you could tear this out this information goes to this page. So when you tear this out, this information does not go with these flowers if you were to fold this and use it in a journal. Um, you can fussy cut these or you can fold them in half and, and use them in a journal. Like these pages in this matte one, are they feel a little bit thicker than the one that's in the, with the shinier pages. Um, it measures nine by three fourths, seven by three sixteenths, and the older one, which is this, is an inch, and the newer one is actually a little bit flatter. It's three and uh, three fourths of an inch, not three and three fourths. It's three fourths of an inch. I bought that off of WorldOfBooks.com, and that was a UK site. This one I found at a thrift store and I did pay a little bit what I think of a pretty penny, but you know, some of these books, I don't think I paid more than $40 for one of these books. And a lot of these, they, I got them off of the world of books 
um, website, not off the United States because you're going to pay more for it, but you get free shipping. The World of Books website, you have to pay $2 for shipping per book, but they're like three to eight euros for a, one of these books if you find them. Um, and they're pretty equivalent to what the U.S. dollar is. I mean, obviously the euro is worth more than a dollar <laughs> these days because America can't get their crap together. Whatever. Anywho, books. <laughs> the, Mac the Macmillan, Macmillan Wildflower book. I've never seen this one before. This has 479 pages. Um, this says the copyright for this one was 1954. Um, but when you start off in this, this was obviously a gift. So are you effing kidding me? Okay, excuse me for that. I honestly thought that I was sitting here doing this and it wasn't even recording. So I was caught off guard. Anywho, um, this was a gift to someone. And it says January 10th, 1971. To Dad from Jim and Jane. Um, so when you open it up, it gives you a few black and white pictures and then it gives you these and it does give you um, some descriptions so I wouldn't say that they're double sided no one side you have writing it's just the way that they put them in the book it's not like this should be bound on this side so it's like the other couple books and they put them within families um the lily family so um yeah i think i paid around 25 or 26 dollars for this book to be honest with you I just couldn't pass it up I just I really couldn't pass it up and anytime I find a botanical book I have to buy it I just I'm addicted to the botanicals I don't know why my husband thinks I'm crazy but you know it is what it is You know, if my girls like this kind of stuff, then, you know, they'll be set <laughs> for life with the stuff that I have. So, yeah. So, you know, um, the pages are matte. It's not um, shiny or anything. Um, it's a 10 by 5 eighths of an inch by eight and one eighth of an inch and the width is one and one half of an inch obviously it looks like there's tons of writing in it because every time I flip that's like the first thing it goes to um, but it just kind of gives you a little description of the flower and it looks like what this is goes with this flower that's what I'm assuming I don't necessarily sit down and read all these books but you know maybe I should since I want to start a garden a flower garden um, okay and then we have the book of wildflowers this book has 122 pages it is double-sided these are matte, not matte, they're um, shiny, glossy, thick pages. Um, I never really seen any plates where they kind of have it this way, but they're not all like that. So see how you have to kind of pick and choose. Um, 
but it's it's the whole book there's not any writing in this except for what the description down here I bought this on Amazon it uh, the original price was $24.95 and um, as of July 10th the last time I when I was doing all this stuff it was $21 and 49 cents so that's the look at that you get three so yeah really pretty um, it is 10 by 3 fourths of an inch by 8 and 1 fourth of an inch and the thickness is 3 eighths of an inch the next book I just bought another one of these um, so that way I can the ones that I really like I've been trying to have doubles of so I can keep one for myself and my daughters and that way I, I can have one to tear up but obviously that's not happening with every book that I have it's just a couple of them um, this is the complete language of flowers this has 256 pages um, it's 10 inches by 8 inches and it's 3 fourths of an inch thick I bought this on Amazon it's originally $22.99 um, it is $14.99 on Amazon right now. So, kind of tells you how to use the book if you're unaware of how to use it. But it, it just tells you a lot of information about the flower. Maybe more of like what a symbolic meaning is, possible powers that it might have. Like, I guess what it could represent. Like, um courage love lust money um and then it gives you some fork for, for, <laughs> folklore and facts of a, a few of them and not every single one like up here this one doesn't have a lot of information so they're not they don't all have like this much information on them so it just kind of and it's alphabetical order too which is nice your index and you know the black pages back here they're really nice and I actually have a <laughs> I'm in love with this book and I'll probably never tear it apart this book that I have over here that I'll eventually get to um, oh my gosh gorgeous and that one I that was around $40 for that other book um, that I have that has more of like the black darker pages with the lighter um, flowers and stuff like that. It's really pretty. I'll get to it eventually. <laughs> okay, so this one is instant wall art. So pretty much it is what it says it is. It's just um, a botanical prints. Um, so it doesn't really have like one specific, okay, I guess it's Adams Media. That's not an, I don't think that's an author. I just think that's the company that produces this. Yeah. So all it is, is prints. And what's nice is it's not front and back. These are glossy. Um, they are kind of thick. Um, but you can, they made this so you can take these out and you can frame them and hang them up. You get uh, 45 pages and, you know, they're meant to be put in frames. So that's why they give you that extra white. Um, some of them have that. I guess I just noticed that they don't all have that. That's beautiful. So, you know, if you don't mind the glossy look and you want to hang some up, there you go. These ones don't have, seem to have a lot of color to them, but like they're not very bright. Um, the book is 10 inches by eight and a half and one fourth of an inch. I bought this off of Amazon. Um, the original price was $18.99. Right now, as of July 10th, it's $14.39. 
I thought I would just throw some of those prices out there in case you guys decided to look them up. Um, this one I found at my um, flea market uh, for $6.95. The Modern Family Garden Book it has 160 pages. The copyright, I mean, it looks old, but it uh, 1941. Um, it was obviously a gift. Don't mind my focus. I'm using my phone. I'm not too good at this. <laughs> um, but I got it one just for the color of the pages, the way the pages feel. And then you get some of these. So, I mean, there's not a whole bunch of pictures, but, and there isn't any like drawings of I mean, I guess you get these, but that's it for flowers. Like, there's not, like, a, a page full of, like, a drawing like this. It's just little bits and pieces. Um, so I've used some of the pages in here. Um, it's still pretty. So this book is 10 inches by 9 and one sixteenth of an inch, and it's a half inch thick. Okay. This book is the Frampton Flora. Um, I'm not, I don't really think it gives page. No, it doesn't give page numbers. So I don't really know exactly how many pages and I'm not taking the time to count that. So um, the copyright was 1985. Uh, the, the stuff is double sided. It's 10 inches by, or yeah, 10 inches by 3 sixteenths. 10 and 3 sixteenths of an inch, I'm sorry. And 7 and 5 eighths of an inch by 15 sixteenths for the width. I bought this off of worldofbooks.com off the UK site for about 9 to 12 euros. Um, this book is really nice. It is double-sided, so and they're more matte with a little bit of a semi-gloss. Um, with them being double-sided, obviously you're going to have to decide. Um, what you want to use. You can fussy cut, you know, you could take the, you know, just cut this out. If you wanted to cut this out, just use, you know, use it in your book and, um, maybe cut this down for a page, uh, fold it in half. You know, like I said, I love the botanical stuff. So yeah. Really nice book. Beautiful images. Okay. I bought this at a thrift store for $5. This is 10 and 7 eighths of an inch by 7 and 1 fourth of an inch and 9 sixteenths of an inch thick. Um, this is called Some Flowers. And at the beginning, it's just writing, um, and then you get some of this. Oh, it's pretty with the little B. It seems like there's quite a bit of writing in here more so writing than like pictures but these pictures that are in here worth the five dollars and again it looks like like if you wanted to frame frame them you could i mean technically how you could frame anything you want you all know that <laughs> so yeah 
And then the last book for this video, and I'm sorry that it's a little bit of a longer video, but I was just trying to get as many books in as I possibly could for this because then that whole shelf is done. I can work on my next shelf for you guys. So this book was gifted to me um, by my dad. So he had it. Um, Hammond's, Hammond's um, Illustrated Nature Guide, uh, 208 pages. Uh, you know, I thought the illustrations were okay in this book. Um, it's 10 and a half inches by 7 and 1 fourths inches. And then it's five eighths of an inch uh, thick. Um, you get some nice black and white pictures, and then you get these up front, and they're different. different you, you know um, and then what's nice is if you wanted to you know you cut this out where it says wasps and it tells you information about wasps so when you do cover or cut, if you were to cut that out this information goes strictly to this card So, you know, they give you butterflies, some insects, they give you you know, I don't care for those, so those are usually the first ones that go. Sorry. I mean, or I don't use them. Like who like who like I don't I'm sorry. If you like that stuff, okay, good for you. I can't. Like what I don't you ruin this flower by putting an iguana on like okay moving on whatever some people love iguanas you know I'm not into fish so stuff like this I wouldn't even use I would just give it away to somebody that specifically wants it and then you have your mammals Oh, I saw Mustang. I was going to say, I didn't, <laughs> I thought that was maybe a car. Um, birds. Obviously, I tore a page out. <laughs> um, flowers. So, yeah. Trees. And then you have like your rocks and minerals. Stuff like, I see, I wouldn't use those. I don't really know how you would kind of do like a rocks and minerals. All right. Um, yeah. So, anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Um, I have a, I have a lot more, honestly. We'll just... Okay. So yeah, and a lot of this, I have books all back behind here, as you can see. Um, these are all fashion books from the 1800s that are like Peterson magazines. Um, these are just some older books. These two books right here. I will get to and you guys, I'm sure you guys will like these. These are botanical books and then my older books over there. And I have a package that's getting ready to go out. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and comment um, and share and subscribe. Um, hang in there with me patiently and I will get to the rest of these books. As you can see, I have quite a bit. So the next... Thing that I have and I still have up here I have all these bird books so I need to go through my bird books I don't have too many and then 
These are all really old 1800 music books and some photo albums. So yeah, let me know that you liked it and uh, I'll get some more videos up for you. Thanks guys. Bye.